Yo, what's good, YouTube, and welcome back to another video. So, in today's video, we'll be covering R Wave, and I will give you my price prediction what could happen with R Wave in the next 4 to 8 hours. Okay, guys, so first of all, let's take a look at the daily time frame. You can see that we are currently in a very huge continuation towards the upside in the daily time frame. You can see that we have right here one previous low around $15. Then you can see the second low right here somewhere around $24. And right here, this low somewhere around $36. So obviously, we are in a very huge uptrend right now, and we are still, and we are currently experiencing a lot of momentum for air wave. And you can see that since we broke out from this previous resistance right here, somewhere around 20 cents, or so this area right here, we saw this huge squeeze to about 75 cents, and then we topped out at this previous resistance area right here, somewhere around 71. To about 74 cents so first of all let's switch to the four hour time frame you can see guys that since we topped out at this area for the first time around 70 dollars and 70 cents we saw this extended sell off back to this previous support area right here to around 52 dollars and then airwave again did try to break out right here from this significant resistance area and we did a huge fake out on everybody who was longing airwave at this moment and then we saw this extended sell off back to the downside to test this support area right here again between 37 to about 40 dollars guys so this is definitely the most important area right now because if you take a look at the past price action guys you can see that since we topped out right here at around $36, we saw this huge squeeze and we took out this previous resistance right here and tested it perfectly right here as a new support, guys, in the 4-hour time frame, guys. So it seems like Airwave is currently trying to retest this support area right here again successfully, as you can see. And now we are retesting all these back holders right here above $54 to about $74, guys. So let's take a look at the volume profile. You can see, guys, that we traded a lot of volume right here in this consolidation in about 15 days and about two weeks. A lot of people are stuck right here in this area, guys. And that means for me that Airwave could maybe experiencing some troubles to break out from this resistance line right here. Because like I already said, a lot of backholders are stuck in this area and a lot of them will try to sell their positions for a break-even trade, guys, or a small loss trade. So that's why I think the probability is very high that we will see maybe a breakout from here to about, let's say, I don't know, $58 maybe. A lot of people will start chasing this breakout, guys, and then we will get this rejection back again to retest this previous support area right here again. So my next immediate short-term targets and my game plan for the next, let's say, eight hours is, guys, I will definitely take a look how we will react to this previous resistance area right here because I think if we can close the next two or three, four-hour candles above this area and we can flip this previous resistance into a new support, guys, then I would consider to make a long trade from here as long as we can retest this area successfully, guys. So... I would open my long trade maybe from here with the target of this previous high somewhere around $74 and a very tight risk reward guys with the risk reward from 1 to 5 so so if this trade is going well guys that would be a very profitable trade for me so I would like I already said wait for a retest guys of this area right here around $55 then I would enter my position right here set my stop loss around 50 around yeah around around 50 dollars and then i would scale out 50 percent of my position size at half of my target somewhere around 63 dollars and then i would set my stop loss back at my break even point guys where i entered my trade and of course i would scale out 100 percent of my position size at my take profit target at this previous high right here around 74 to 75 dollars guys so this is definitely a long trade I would consider to make in the immediate short term. And like I already said, otherwise, if we are breaking out from this area right now in the next hours and we will experiencing only a fake out in this area and we, are, and we start closing again some candles below this significant line right here, 
then I think we will we will see an extended sell off to retest this previous support line right here around $39 guys as you can see from the past price action we retest we tested this support line right here for one time right here perfectly also for one time right here for one time and that was definitely the and this is so this is definitely the most significant support area right now in the immediate short term for airwave so yeah guys and also even if we will break out from this area right here and we will get rejected somewhere around let's say 60 dollars and we will see an extended sell off back to this uh, support area you can see that we would also retest perfectly in the four hour time frame this yellow trend line right here which i marked so we would also have a higher low in the four hour time frame guys and that would still remain the bullish structure for airwave so this is also a very significant bullish information for us guys so yeah guys like i already said watch out for how we will react to this resistance line right here if we can break out from here i think we will most likely trade in the next days in this range between 55 to about 75 dollars and otherwise if we are breaking out from here i think we will see an extended sell-off back to this previous support line right here around 39 dollars to retest first of all of course this previous support line right here again and also this trend line right here which i marked so yeah guys uh that was be so yeah guys that was the quick update video for airwave if you enjoyed the video guys please give me a like don't forget to subscribe to the channel guys if you had any value from the video and uh thank you for watching guys i hope i will see you in the next video bye bye